Hello friends, we are a team of Hanover and we are here with a special guest, Vinod Mulasheril of India. India is a new startup which is aimed to support Indian manufacturers with digital tools. Vinod believes Indian manufacturers have a long way to go and with his more than two decades of experience in the international market, he made this product India and he wants to transfer all of his knowledge to support the Indian manufacturing. You know, welcome to Machine Maker. Thanks, Hari. First of all, congratulations that you launched India last month. Yeah. How do you think that, you know, Indian manufacturing can make a mark in the global manufacturing? According to me, the Indian manufacturing can make a mark only with adaptation of the technology, adaptation of digitalization, because that's where we are lacking. We are talking about automation, we are talking about a lot of things. We are talking about opportunity, making India a 5 trillion economy, making 25% of the GDP from manufacturing. But how are we going to achieve it? Last week I was reading an article, ACMA and CM are targeting to export of components from 20 billion to 100 billion. Well, almost five times they are targeting to increase the exports. But how are we going to achieve it unless we have some solutions available in the market to adapt, to change the way we work, improve the productivity. There are a lot of challenges we have, so we need to have solutions which can handle such challenges on an execution level. So that is where we are pitching in. We are like almost like a three decades of experience in the you know, international market. We, along with a couple of other uh, senior level manufacturing experts, what we are doing is we are bringing our corporate multinational expertise on operations management, operation technology, information technology, into a local execution level, transferring that knowledge, transferring, handholding the MSMEs to uplift them in terms of productivity, in terms of lead time reduction, in terms of cost reduction, anything. See, you talk about digital transformation. Yes. In one way, India is a very big country with a lot of opportunities. Correct. So, digital tools is something which I believe is already a manipulated term Absolutely. In the market. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, people are not clear yes. what actually digital because some people should have been taken some ERP, some people should have been taken some EA tool, yeah. which is told. Yeah. But unfortunately, because of not having proper support, because every business is different. Correct. Every ERP cannot support everyone, right? right. Yeah. Same yeah. manufacturing, but different style of working. Absolutely. So, how do you think when we talk about digital uh, transformation which India wants to bring for yeah. Make in India? Correct. So, first of all, tell me what is Make in India? Second thing, how this is different from the other products which is available in the right. market? So what we are doing is, we are actually creating an ecosystem for the tooling and component manufacturing industry. So starting from the OEMs, you know, there is a marketplace to get RFQs and queries and then respond to those RFQs and inquiries. So it's a marketplace. Okay. Then we have an operations management tool, a toolkit which is something like a kind of market leading ERP type of solution taking from inquiries to orders to execution to traceability to everything MSME business wants that is embedded in this SaaS platform. Okay. So what we are doing is we are standardizing the entire process specific to this industry. We are digitalizing the entire supply chain activities and we are also integrating the financial process to it. So a business need only this platform to grow, monitor all their KPIs in the, from a business perspective. And I think the SaaS model, what you are talking about, it creates more responsibility to India, right? Otherwise, Absolutely. people will just stop uh, subscribing it. Absolutely, yes. We are not just asking them to come on board. We are hand-holding them our 30 years of experience. Each of us, you have 30 years of corporate experience. So we hand-hold them, we uplift their technology, we uplift their adaptation, we uplift their operations management to the next level. That's what we are targeting. So it's not just leaving, just like any other platform, they just go on board, and then nobody is there to take care of. We handhold them throughout the process, ensure the operations excellence is achieved by every company on this platform. I come from India. I am educated. Yes. But still, what happens? People come with their experience and tell, "Hurry, don't do this. Yeah. This is the best way to do it." Right. Unfortunately, it is in my culture. I never listen to them. I fall. I learn on myself. Right. Lose time, lose money, lose energy, lose resources. Absolutely. Absolutely. And money, okay, we can get back. Yeah. But the time which is gone, it's gone. It is gone, it is gone. You yes. see, yeah. I am now on 20th year of my entrepreneurship journey. Okay. Now, I am successful, but 18 years, 19 years, I was struggling. 
many people came and told don't do this but i never fall out okay so this is a culture what we are having in india i realize which i want to change right so that can also become a big challenge for you. even your experience of 30 years yeah when you are trying to help people but quite often maybe there is a chance people don't listen to you how you would like to change that could culture could be could be because this is something you know education we need to have the proper education in the in their community that's what we are requesting every association every institutes every you know ministries that's what we are trying to do approach them tell them okay these are the requirements and then take the help from them to make sure that this education is happening because we need a cultural change yeah unless we, we culturally change we are not going to grow into this you know whatever we are dreaming yeah so in next say 6 to 7 years if we want to become a 5 trillion economy having 25% of gdp coming from the manufacturing multiply the component export by five times how are we going to do it otherwise yeah, it needs a cultural change it needs an adaptation of the technology see there are lot of cultural change what we are talking yes. about it is not easy friends uh, i also got the change through the activities what we done the experiences what i got by meeting people like you know i wrote that book change makers of indian manufacturing which changed my life yeah. and one of the best thing what i learned from this that you don't need validation of right. doing things right if you are doing the right thing you will success it may take some yeah. time but the guidance what you require from people experience people is very important here for you to leap forward and i Absolutely. think you know that is what you are trying to give to the indian yeah, that is exactly what we are trying to do it's our experience we are using to handhold every company on this platform i started this project in 2017 so last 6 years we are working on this project tirelessly almost 18 hours a day to ensure that we are building something for the indian manufacturers especially you know focus on the tooling and component manufacturing because that's one of the critical area where we have our expertise that's where we are focusing and we are sure that you know we can uplift every company which are coming on the platform we are talking about you know certain kpis we are talking about improving the productivity by 20% reducing the lead time by 30% these are some of the few parameters kpis we are focusing and we want to ensure that every company elevate to this level i i love your passion thank you i love your passion for excellence i love your passion for india and that is make in india the path may not be easy because many people after studying in the reputed and very prestigious institutions in india like iit iim they just want to go out and there here one person who want to come back to india and see that every indian manufacturer is getting benefited by the learning what he had in his life through his product india i wish from machine maker we know all the very best and request you people not just take india but get in touch with vinod so that he can give you how to bring solutions to your manufacturing because he is talking about solutions yes and that is what we need today solutions to excel to bring our productivity high and also to capture the global market thank you thank and you wish harry. all the best